People in the town of Evans are also no stranger to major flooding. Every year, Big Sister Creek creates a mess for those who live along it. News Force Patrick Ryan is at a home that was hit hard this time around. Patrick? Yeah, Don and Jackie, when we arrived here, we're on the North Main Street Bridge right near that home. And when we got here this morning, it was jam packed with ice here in Big Sister Creek. But if you take a look now, those pieces of ice have broken loose and the creek is flowing again. That happened just within the last hour and a half or two. That said, residents like Alex Leitner, whose home backs up to the creek, had a major mess on his hands. Leitner has lived in his home off Route 5 in North Main Street for three years and has been a constant target of Big Sister Creek's fury. His home runs parallel to the creek and anytime there's snow melt and ice jam, his yard and house ends up underwater. I'm told he's spent about $100,000 in flood repairs in the short time he's lived there. His sump pump has been running, but it's no match for Big Sister leaving his basement filled to the top with water. He abandoned ship last night when the water began creeping into his yard and just got back this afternoon to look at the damage left behind. What is it like to go to work and not really know what's going on at your house, what the damage is like? Heartbreaking, actually. You go to work thinking you can come home to you know, a safe spot, some place you know is going to be nice and warm and comfortable to be, and to not know if I can even make it back in. We would like the county, we'd like the state, you know, to all work together. You know, this should be something that could be resolved. Residents like Dee you just heard from want to see the bridge which crosses Big Sister Road to be raised and the creek dredged out. Now the water, as you can see back out here live in the town of Evans, is flowing yet again. And News 4 investigates reported back in August the state is planning to raise that bridge along Route 5 that crosses the creek. But it is in the initial design phases and we'll keep you updated when we hear more on that. For now, reporting live in the town of Evans, Patrick Ryan, News 4.